Good evening, I'm Todd Koontz. Thanks for being here with us at 530. The Mountain America Center in Idaho Falls has now been open for a little more than two months. Eyewitness News 3's Kaylee Gallivy shows us how the staff says they're doing so far. Since their grand opening in November, managers at the Mountain America Center are reporting much success, welcoming thousands of people through their doors. We represent over 600 different zip codes that have visited this building in the first 60 days that we've been open. 600 zip codes. That means, you know, the surrounding region has about 40 to 50 of them, but there's another 400 to 500 zip codes that have actually visited our building. General Manager Eric Hudson says much of that comes from community support. So far, violinist performer Lindsey Sterling and 16 out of 20 Spud Kings hockey games have sold out. The Spud Kings season started slow, but has already seen so much growth. We've brought in about 15 new players, and we've retained about eight or nine of our, our players that started the year. Um, and the team has been, uh, the, the, the boys are, are, are great human beings. And the support from dedicated fans is unmatched. We have the best fans, I think, in all of junior hockey. Every night, 4,000 of them come into the building. It's packed every night, and it continues to grow. Um, they're rowdy. They're energetic. They're passionate. And, and for a team that's only been around for you know four or five months, it, it feels more like four or five years to me. Despite some social media criticism over ticket and food prices, they say the new center has brought more tourism to the area, boosting the economy. And demand is not expected to slow down for 2023. I think we're probably going to have over 200,000 people visit this facility. And they are excited about what is ahead, including the Harlem Globe Trotters, Monster Trucks, and country music group Old Dominion. I'm told there's even more events that have not been released just yet, like classic and alternative rock concerts and some more country shows. Not to mention every event that we have in February is pretty much sold out. I think we're at 86% capacity. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Kaylee Galavis. To stay up to date with new announcements or to purchase tickets to already released events, head to our website, news3now.com.